If it isn't the hero of the Black Talon, your continued survival is nothing short of miraculous. I am NRO2, former servant of Grand Moff Kilrin. After his unfortunate demise, I found a new master who wishes to remain anonymous. Kilrin was an asset to the Empire. I'm sorry for your loss. Your condolences are unnecessary. He disobeyed a direct order and suffered the consequences. The Empire appreciates your loyalty and fully supports this upcoming partnership. As leader of the Alliance, you will boost morale and align your allies under one banner. With war impending and resources dwindling, your first priority is protecting our fuel, food supply, and raw materials. We must keep them out of Republic hands. I was hoping for something a bit more... violent. I'm certain the Republic will throw many incompetent soldiers in your path. Acceptable losses in times of war. There are reports of a conflict brewing on the planet Osis. With your help, the Alliance could tip the balance in the Empire's favor. In the meantime, return to Odessan to await further contact. Long live the Empire. Greetings, Commander. It has been far too long. Moff Pyron, is that you? Boss, I heard you had disappeared into the Outer Rim. Indeed. I'm afraid that in your absence, I was assigned to employ the Silencer fleet in a secret operation on behalf of Empress Asina herself. I'm back now, and have been for some time. You will return to my service immediately. Regrettably, that won't be possible, Commander. You are a valued ally of the Empire, but I no longer report to you. My duty is elsewhere. You can serve me, or you can suffer. I am flattered that you find my service so desirable, but I must decline. Empress Asina has very specific plans for me. I'm certain she would take it poorly if I were to suddenly leave. Well, it would be a shame to upset your new master. I'm glad you agree, Commander. A situation has arisen, and I believe it presents an opportunity to strengthen the bond between the Empire and your Alliance. A small Imperial strike team is currently engaged in a covert operation on the ancient Jedi world of Osus. I am hoping that you can provide them with some assistance. What kind of assistance? The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council, Darth Malora, Head of Scientific Advancement. While Melora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina, she has little of Asina's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Melora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. Melora. I believe I had dealings with her on Korriban long ago. Ah, good. Then you'll already be one step ahead. I crushed her efforts to undermine her master. I doubt it ended well for her. That may complicate matters. Unfortunately, I know of no one else capable of resolving this situation. As a member of the Dark Council, Melora is beyond my influence. But someone like yourself, 
An outsider whose allegiance is greatly valued. You could accomplish much that I cannot. I can investigate the situation. What is the strike team's mission on Osus? The Jedi have established a secret colony on the planet. We believe they're using it to train and ready themselves for war. The Jedi's numbers are already low. If this training compound can be destroyed, we will be at an inarguable advantage when full-scale hostilities begin. A mission to kill Jedi. It's been too long. Indeed. When our ancient enemies are swept away, the Sith Empire's victory will be assured. I will forward all of my available data on Malora and the operation. Your assistance will no doubt ensure the mission's success. I am certain that Empress Asina will be most appreciative. Thank you for your time, Commander. I shall look forward to word of your triumph. Glory to the Empire. Glory to the Empire, Moff. I would recommend that you travel to Osus alone. We wouldn't want Malora or her troops to see this as a show of force. Or confuse her with unexpected allies. Meaning Alliance members from the Republic. Precisely. Surely you could come with me, Lana. I would love nothing more. But I'm not especially popular with my fellow Sith. I don't know Melora, but I'd rather not chance it. I'll see that a shuttle is prepared for you. May the Force serve you well, Commander. No sudden moves, if you please. I'm here to help. That a fact? At the request of Moth Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You! I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? It's clear that you've grown since our last encounter. How long has it been? Not long enough. You're fortunate that others value your life more than I do. This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Whatever you end up doing, do it quietly. I need to focus on my creations. Her creations are just as likely to get us killed as any Jedi. Idiot. I'm inclined to kill her before we even get started. Maybe you could get away with something like that. But if a Dark Counselor gets killed on my watch, it'll be paperwork all the way to the chopping block. Let's buckle down, huh? Objective is to trash the Republic colony, take out all the Jedi we can find. We've got troops ready, willing, and able. Does her Sithly Eminence send us to do that? Or does she hold us all back while she works on her little science project? Science project? Geonosians. Mutated, turbocharged, psycho Geonosians. They're killers, she got that much right. They just don't care who they're killing, imp or rep. Buggy freaks clipped one of my boys, Brax, while he was out on patrol. No comms and he hasn't made it back. Dead or alive, his gear's got info that could give away our position. Can't risk that. Was just about to go looking for him. Care to join? 
I'd be happy to help, Major. Just point the way. Great. I'm ready to go whenever you are, Commander. We have an opportunity for you. Proceed to the Imperial fighters nearby. Successfully uploaded. Odds of pilot survival have increased 382%. At your service, my lord. Travel route is confirmed. Tell me about the new Dark Council. Still works more or less the same way, just less seats. The twelve organizations got merged into five. Still got one Sith on top of each of them. They run the Empire day to day and report to Empress Asina. Been pretty stable since it was reformed. They're not all as quirky as Melora either. Some good heads in there, like Krobos. Your old seat got merged into the Sith Doctrine Pyramid. Darth Anathal runs that one. Never met him. I'll make sure to meet him soon enough. Bet you will. All right, nothing here. Let's keep moving. What do you think of Empress Asina? Smart, patient, worth following. She's kept you and the Alliance on board, so you must not feel too different. Still, 
A bit hard to believe the old emperor was planning to eat us all. Guess we all owe you for that one, huh? So, you know, thanks for saving the galaxy and everyone I ever loved. Anyway, nothing on the scanner. We can keep moving. Are non-human military officers common now? Getting there? I'm one of the first to get a rank like this, but the numbers are getting better every day. I had a bit of a head start. When I was a slave, I was running ops for my old master. Made his actual troops furious. He was a colonel in the infantry, special forces. Every mission he gave me, I ran circles around all his fancy officers. Got me a commission the minute they changed the rules. What happened to your master? Crusty old Slimo's dead. Good riddance. Not picking up anything here. Let's move on. Incoming! Close one there. I should contact the Alliance. Our forces could finish this in a matter of hours. I'll bet they would. Uh, but we can't risk long-range comms. Jedi might pick it up. They hear a message like that, they'll clear out before we can do any real damage. Sure would be nice to see a real assault force, though. I'm told the war with the cool was costly. What is the status of the Imperial military? Nowhere near the numbers we had in the old days. Just not enough materials and fuel and food to make it happen. Still a few steps ahead of the Republic, at least. We can thank Asina for that. She managed to rebuild a lot of warships without the cool knowing. Is that what Moff Pyron was up to? You'll have to ask him. Blast. Still nothing. You know... I'm having a thought. Melora loaded the first wave of mutants on a shuttle, planning to drop them near the colony. They broke loose. Shuttle went down. Big surprise. It didn't go down far from here. We get the sensors on that bird working. We can scan a lot further.
This is it. <sighs> Background radiation has the scanner all twisted up. This might take a few minutes. A few very exciting minutes, apparently. Let them come. You really got some moves. I'm not sure these Geonosians are all that Melora makes them out to be. I'd love to watch you give her some feedback. Let's see now. Okay. Got him! That's Brax, all right. Let's get moving. Looking everywhere for you. Sorry, boss. Been quite a day. Looks like it isn't over yet either. More Geonosians. Ready if you are. Still in one piece, Sergeant? Not quite, Major, but close enough. Thanks for the save. Thank you both. Pardon, it's been a long day, but... Are you... Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Aw, little Braxy doesn't think he's worthy of a celebrity rescue. Such a weird day. Honor to meet you, Commander. You did well to survive alone against so many of those creatures. Knock it off! You make the poor boy blush. Braxy is probably my top scout. We'd be in a real mess without him. Hey, probably. So impress me, why don't you? Well, as a matter of fact, you know anything about a stealth supply drop coming in today? Nothing on the schedule. You saw one come in. I did. Landed near here. Was on my way there when the bugs pinned me down. 
Only thing you're on your way to is a Bacta tank. We'll check out the supply drop site. You up for a bit more action, Commander? What kind of supplies are you expecting? Wasn't expecting any. It's probably more lab toys for Melora. But maybe we'll luck out. Wouldn't mind some new gear. Either way, we best find it before the Jedi do. Your ride's on its way, Brax. We'll see you back in camp. Much obliged. Never expected to find real working farms here. Wonder how they're managing to grow anything in soil this bad. I didn't take you for a farmer. More of a gardener. Flowers, mainly. You're joking. Keep that sunny disposition. I might even send you a few. Wonder where they found soil reclamators that could handle a job like this. Jedi must have brought a few engineers along. We've had some weird reports in this sector. Sightings of a really big humanoid. Even had a Sith go missing around here. Lucky he wasn't one of Melora's favorites. We'd have been forced to care. All the same, we best keep our eyes open.
close one there. Close one there. Starting to pick up a lot of chatter on the Jedi channels. Looks like it's coming from the other side of the farm. Let's check over there. There's a presence nearby. It's oddly familiar. Should I be worried? No, Major. Go on ahead. I'll catch up in a moment. In 
alay matay gas pidal pi matay wulpaz in alay uspolanay. You always did have a large appetite. See na galaw baynay wirpains jafar in abelop in abelop fralat forte fuima alayzos gas kaf tais. In bizoze waitay spila pres in kretay in bize e wanata atragata in jais. Elion Dandans atin se lapto iswis do dalai lotais wahaisen. So my disappearance broke our agreement. And so we look at us, so gi in a gangan gisar far isis. While Papa, Fraugens in Alama Patai Galakai in Alama Amainai. Usatida sin, Fara Alaim, Jaal in Ima, Jahaban Iten. I'm powerful enough to defeat Zash. She perished on Nathema, and she'll never plague you again. Jawais from Bama Daga, I house the Dedum, Nevele Ladum. Daga I we sandans, ni namans for easy be jandans, amin. Elion dandans, atin se lapto, iswis do dalai, lotais wahaisen. Can you open it? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. My authorization code won't cut it. Gonna have to be Melora. Speaking of, we should try to convince her to let us make a play for the Jedi's farming data. If the Jedi could grow food here, they could grow it anywhere. We nab their data and wipe their computers, that could be us instead. We grow more food, we feed more soldiers, we win more battles. Huge advantage. I couldn't agree more. We'll gather what the Jedi have learned, then make sure they can't use it. I'm seeing why you're so popular, Commander. Let's call in a speeder, get this thing back to camp. order any supply drop. I don't like this. Not one bit. 
It's a trick. Another distraction. Something sent by a rival. Someone trying to undermine the operation. I won't fall for it. So you're not just stupid, but paranoid too. Only a fool assumes no one wants them dead. No, no, no one is going to open this pod. No one is going to touch this pod. The operation is well underway. Your super soldiers are out of control. A minor setback that I have already overcome. I have formulated a mutative virus that will alter the Geonosians' olfactory membranes and adrenal cortices, making them susceptible to pheromone interventions. We need only infect the Geonosian Queen and her six broodmates with my custom viral strains. And that will spread the changes throughout their population. Of course, accessing the Queen's chambers will be a challenge. Suicidal, even, if her three bodyguard drones aren't killed first. <gasps> no! I impossible! You died! I am Darth Malgus. I speak with the full power of the Sith Empire, and I am in command now. You. I wasn't expecting you to be a part of this operation. I trust you share our goal. The complete eradication of all Jedi on this planet. I think this operation would be better off with me running things. These are Imperial troops operating an Imperial base. They are not yours to command. Too much time has been wasted already. We will begin by blinding and silencing our enemy. Who is the ranking military officer? Here, my lord. Major Anri. All Jedi communications and sensors must be jammed before we attack. Take as many soldiers as you need to complete this task. I'll only need one person to get that job done. Commander, would you be so kind? I'd be glad to do something useful so that Malgus can focus on his posturing. I'll be assessing the progress made before my arrival. I'm sure, with your help, it was extensive. And on that note, ready when you are, Commander. Playing all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. Close one there.
got something for ya! one there. First you, now Malgus. This planet's turned into a real hot spot for the big to-dos. Should've worn my dressier armor. Did you know Malgus was alive? Nah. There were always people saying he was, but I never gave him much credence. They said he was the new Empire's Wrath. A shadowy monster out killing all the traitors and cowards. So brush your teeth and eat your vegetables. That kind of stuff. Guess it was true after all. Thanks for not tearing the camp apart, by the way. What do you mean? When Malgus showed up. Two powerful Sith, both used to calling the shots. Doesn't often end pretty. Hell, look what happened to Melora. Compromise isn't the Sith way. Can't speak to that, but it meant a lot to the troops, seeing you work together to get the job done. Got something for ya! Raven to Nest. Blackout complete. Nest here. Copy that. Be advised. Spotters ID'd some enemy forces near your position. They might try to shut down the jammers. Good thing I've got you to back me up. Raven to Nest. We'll handle them. Raven out.
close one there. We've got to keep moving or we'll get pinned down and burnt to a crisp. The droid lit up one of the fuel tanks. Take cover! Looks like you can shut their sensors down from there. I'm gonna do a quick sweep. See if you can't find a copy of their farming data while you're at it. Data received. I'm now infiltrating the Jedi computer system. All data on their crop and soil rejuvenation programs will be copied and then deleted. You have served the Empire well. Congratulations, Commander. Are we set? Raven to nest. Job's done. Enemy is dark. Excellent. All units are prepared. We have traced the bulk of the Jedi to an ancient library. That is our objective. Coordinates received. We'll meet you there. For the Empire. The library. The whole reason I accepted this pitiful assignment. You survived. I never would have made the Dark Council if a little shove were enough to kill me. What's so special about the library? Knowledge, research and documentation of long-forgotten techniques gathered from both the Sith and the Jedi. Not to worry. I won't stand in your way. Complete the mission. I will simply pick over the remains for what I seek. Come back with us. We can finish this together. If Malgus had leave to remove me from command, then my time as a Dark Council member is over. I will not return. I'm surprised you would even ask. My alliance could use your knowledge. I think you and Dr. Ogorob would get along well. Hmm, an intriguing offer. Unexpected, but intriguing. I'll consider it. Get on with your work, but know this. Empress Asina may have Malgus on a leash, but that does not make her the only one who can pull it. Strange lady, that one. Any luck with the farming data? I found everything we need. I've already sent it to Imperial Command. Outstanding! You don't know what a difference this is gonna make. Reps will be too busy fighting for scraps to fight us. Alright, time to hit the library. Close 
one there.
Commander, Major Anri. What's your plan? Not a plan. A proposition. You came to Osus to aid our mission. As the galaxy marches to war, you fight to see our empire triumph over its ancient enemies. Together, you and I can strike the first blow in that battle. We will find the leader of these Jedi, Nost Dural, and defeat him. We will show the galaxy that no Jedi can stand against our combined might. Just as the Republic cannot stand against the combined might of the Empire and your Alliance. Fine by me. I just hope you can keep up with me. <sighs> Major, take the rest of the troops and sweep the building. Eradicate all who oppose you. We will do the same.
the Empire. Jedi Master, Nos Dural. Darth Malgus, alive and well. This explains the sudden shift to more aggressive tactics against us. And you must be the commander of the Alliance. Ultimate destroyer of the Sith Emperor. A story I would have loved to document. A pity that two such influential leaders would waste their potential by traveling here just to burn some old books and kill an old man. No one has to die here. Surrender. History will not remember me as the one who surrendered to evil without a fight. Let's find out if you can live up to your respective legends. So be it, Jedi. Let's begin. We are all shaped by the choices of our past. Nostural is a master of mind training. Do not let yourself be deceived. The power of the dark side is a lie. The story isn't over yet.
Durak. Ben Zalo. Darth Sash. Darth Thanaton. Tenebrae. It seems I'll be meeting my fate in distinguished company. Left to me, this library will be your grave, Jedi. But your fate is in the Commander's hands. I'd say you have the right idea. Kill him before he bores us to death with another lecture. We finished here. Rally the surviving troops outside. Yes, my lord. the camp. Major, all troops, return to base at once. Losses, Major. We lost a lot of equipment. Some gear and supplies. Several of our troops stationed on lookout. But it could have been much, much worse. Then we stand our ground. We have won a great victory today. This trifling attack will not chase us away. Major, see that images of Nostoral's corpse are transmitted to the enemy. Aye, my lord. Commander, thank you for everything. It's been a real honor. If you ever need my help again, I'm all yours. Well, I just may. Farewell. My lord, incoming broadcast from Empress Asina. Malgus, I'm told you've completed your task in customarily ruthless fashion. We have slain countless Jedi, including the overseer of this colony, Nos Dural. His loss will cut our enemies deeply. Impressive work indeed. But I've learned of an equally fascinating opportunity. Though it appears to have escaped your notice, the Jedi successfully raised numerous crops on that dead planet. Whatever techniques they applied there could have been seized and applied to generate plentiful food for our troops in this time of severe shortages. Fortunately, the Alliance commander was more attentive and captured the data from the Jedi computers. Well done, Commander. You've ensured a strong Imperial military for years to come. I'm glad that I could be of service, Empress. And what of the remaining Jedi, Empress? Our ships have detected shuttles evacuating in droves. They will intercept as many as possible, and we will leave a meager force to protect against further incursions. Your mission on Osus is over. Return to me at once, so that we may prepare you for your next assignment. Commander.
Your assistance is, as always, deeply appreciated. The Sith Empire is made stronger by its ties to your alliance. Our renewed war against the Republic has only just begun. But I am certain that you will become our greatest asset in the battles to come. Farewell. I must prepare to depart immediately. Well, bye. <laughs> Today, we began a war, one that I have already fought twice. Twice our empire has set the galaxy ablaze. Twice we have tried to burn away the hypocrisies and weaknesses of the Republic and their Jedi. Twice we have failed. We must not fail again, Commander, for there is precious little tinder left to keep our fire burning. Farewell. We seem to have everyone. Status report? Internal security remains solid. I've caught two Republic spies since Osis. Both were disguised as cargo pilots seeking work. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. Don't stop looking just because you found a few spies. Being discovered might have been their mission all along. Decoys to make us feel like we've won. It's certainly possible. I'll double our efforts. I've gathered intelligence from Theron's assets as best as I can. We have reports from most of the major conflict zones, which I forwarded to Baywan. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides. Should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessan. There's, uh, one other matter we should discuss now that you're aligned with the Empire again. We've accomplished a lot here. I'm proud to have worked under your command. We've made the galaxy a better place. But I'm also proud of my past. I served the Republic for years. I can't fight them. So, I'm retiring. I've recommended a replacement, Commodore Pardax. Ex-Imperial, very sharp, she'll serve you well. Lana's already vetted her, and I'll stick around long enough to get her up to speed. Lana. I want security posted at all times to keep him from revealing any secrets to his Republic friends. As you wish. Nothing so dramatic occurring in our science lab. Improvements to Odessa's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hilo? We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Sana Ray is touring the reconstruction efforts on Vos, so I believe we're finished. I'd like to say a few words before we end the meeting. Yes, Commander? The Alliance has changed, but one thing is still the same. I am in command. Every enemy we've faced, every challenge we've overcome, I've led us through it all. And I will lead us through whatever comes next. Follow me. The future is ours to make. You can count on us. 
There was one final matter for you. Lord Izar, a representative of the Imperial Outreach Division, has asked to speak with you. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Greetings, Commander. So good of you to contact me. How can I help you, exactly? I serve within the Imperial Outreach Division. Specifically, I seek out opportunities to inspire greatness among our noble frontline soldiers. Darth Krovos is giving a speech to our forces gathered at Viking Space Dock in preparation for their deployment. This could be an opportunity to say a few words of your own. Your actions have made you a living legend, after all. Certainty of victory inspires confidence. Hearing that you are out there fighting the same fight they are will undoubtedly instill that confidence in our troops. What do you want me to say, exactly? Tell them your story. Tell them how your love of the Empire has inspired you. Above all, tell them they will win. We shall await your arrival with bated breath. Safe travels. NRO2, did you set up this speech to the troops on Viking Space Dock? No, but Lord Izar is correct in his assessment. This is an excellent opportunity to inspire confidence in the Empire's troops. Inspired troops are capable of fighting at capacities near 83% above baseline. Speak well and victory will follow. Perfect timing, Commander. Darth Krovos is just finishing up. Follow me. I can sense the strength in each and every one of you. The passion for victory, and the power to achieve it. At the muzzles of your blasters, at the points of your blades, our ancient enemies shall finally be destroyed. FOR THE EMPIRE! We meet again. Zosha and her family send their regards. With your alliance fighting alongside the Empire, victory is within our grasp. We are an unstoppable team. The troops will be pleased to hear that. They're all yours. spoke the truth. Victory over the Republic is inevitable. The Republic is weak and cowardly. They will never be able to stand against us. You are soldiers of the Sith Empire, the greatest army to ever march across the galaxy. You will board your ships, take up your weapons, Charge into the heat of battle and win for the Sith Empire! To your ships! Well done, Commander. Simple and to the point. Like a fine weapon. A bit simplistic, perhaps, but clearly effective. I appreciate your time, Commander. I look forward to working with you again someday soon. You effectively whipped up their fervor for victory, Commander. Excellent work. <laughs>